Hey there, Uniservo here. One of the great jokes in computer history is the Signetics write-only memory. Perhaps a lot of you have heard of this, perhaps some of you haven't. Today I want to give you a little bit of a history of, of the Signetics WAM write-only memory. And yeah, you can tell this that doesn't make sense. Why, why would you have a digital memory chip where you can write to it, but you can't read anything out? Well, back in 1972, an engineer at Signetics, a guy by the name of Jack Curtis, decided, apparently on a lark, as he says, uh, to come up with a joke data sheet uh, about a fictional part. And this was inspired by an earlier joke data sheet from the vacuum tube manufacturer IMAC. They, uh, IMAC had a had a, well, apparently an engineer or two that uh, decided to submit a, a joke data sheet on a, a very silly vacuum tube. In any case, Curtis decided to do this in, well, the digital age with an IC and came up with the 25120 uh, fully encoded 9046 by N random access write only memory. And, well, came out with a data sheet and uh, circulated around internally. And, uh, well, eventually it, it kind of made its way, <laughs> made its way out the door. Now here is the data sheet. I'm sorry it's a very bad copy, but uh, this is actually not the original. It's kind of a cleaned up version. Apparently the original is in bad shape. But, uh, I suggest maybe you get online. It's pretty easy to find the PDF. And yes, it's extremely silly. There's uh, nothing makes sense. Um, and it's a bunch of in-jokes. It's very funny. Like I said, I would show you the uh, this, but you can see it is a really, really bad copy. Now, the interesting thing about this is... Signetics actually made WAMs. And there's one of them. Earlier today, I was on Twitter and, uh, well, uh, Unis, uh, not Uni Uniservo, I'm Uniservo, um, Tube Time posted some pictures of, from his chip collection. Really great stuff. Some very early Signetics DTL. Um, and, uh, hey, great. So I went looking in my collection for some interesting chips. I didn't find what I was looking for, but I came across this. I remember I had this. And as you can see, let's see if we can get this focused. If you look at the part number, that is indeed... Let's see if we can get it focused there. There we go. A 25120 NFG from Signetics. The story is that, like I said, the data sheet was, was uh, um, authored in 1972 and uh, eventually the uh, the PR department the advertising department decided it was a pretty good icebreaker so they uh, included it in a data book <laughs> believe it or not and uh, came out with a little press kit and uh, th they would send out and this press kit had a bumper sticker had uh, apparently a funny nose and glasses and one of these, an actual sample of a 25120 NFG. NFG must be a little better, or a little worse grade than NG, apparently. Now, uh, <laughs> of course, you know, this is not a real write-only memory here. That's silly. Apparently, they, uh, they had, uh, uh, the PR department just decided to go into the scrap chip bin you know, who knows what this actually is. It's probably a failed chip. It probably something's wrong with it. And decided to, to set up the, 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 the label printer to actually come up with <laughs> the, uh, the real numbers. You can see it has a 1973 date code. But yes, it's real signetics. It's the real thing. So yes, this is one of those sample WAMs. So, yeah, 
interesting story that that doesn't normally get told about the uh, uh, the whole joke is that Signetics actually really took the ball and ran with it. Now, how many of these were actually made, these press kits with the bumper sticker and the funny nose and glasses and the fake chip? I don't know. I got this from uh, an estate that I was cleaning out of a uh, rather well-known computer scientist. I will not mention who for privacy of the client. Um, but uh, yeah, he, he probably had enough of the connections that, uh, you know, maybe they sent one of these to him. Uh, one of these press kits. I need to see if I have the bumper sticker somewhere. I still have an awful lot of papers from this estate to go through. But uh, yeah, interesting thing. Interesting thing. Now you can see it does have all the pins, so you can, that means that means it, it's never been used. And if you look at the data sheet, you'll know why I say that. All right. Well, I posted a picture of this on Twitter. But I don't think anyone actually got it. Well, maybe one person got it. I don't know. So, uh, well, here it is. The things actually exist. Well, sort of. All right. Hey, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I am Uniservo over on Twitter. And yes, you'll get notifications on videos and occasionally pictures of silly things. And, uh, well other nonsense not a big volume uh not big volume from me so uh you're not gonna get swamped by pictures of what i had for lunch and all that all right i hope you like the video what am i gonna do with this i don't know who knows you can't really do anything with it but uh yeah leave a comment if you got if you have any more insight about the uh the press kits i'd actually like to see the uh see the rest of the press kit all right talk to you later